All right, so let's say we um, we have a problem where we have to divide mixed numbers, okay? Um, if you've seen the, the little mini lesson prior to this on uh, changing mixed numbers to improper fractions, then you should uh, already know what we're about to do, okay? So, and mixed numbers are just forms of fractions, so we're still going to, the, the number one thing, the top two things to do is change, we're going to eventually change the division to multiplication, and we're going to flip the second fraction. But before we can do any of that, we need to change both of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So first I want to change 2 and 3 fourths to an improper fraction. We keep the denominator the same, all right? And we're going to do our work this way. So we, we multiply and then we add. So it's going to be 4 times 2 plus 3. That's going to give us 8 plus 3 because 4 times 2 is 8. And then when we add that, that's going to give us 11 over 4. And the second one, we have 1 and 2 thirds. I'm going to change that to an improper fraction. Keep the denominator the same. And remember, we work on a C. So we multiply and then we add 3 times 1 plus 2 which that's going to give us 3 plus 2 over 3, which equals 5 over 3. So now that we've done that, I'm going to rewrite these two mixed numbers as these improper fractions with the division sign. Okay, I'll re basically re re rewrite the problem. So that's going to be 11 over 4 divided by... 5 over 3. And now that I've done that, I can go ahead and change division and multiplication and take the reciprocal of the second fraction. The reciprocal just means to flip the fraction. The first fraction stays the same. And in this case, there's nothing to simplify here, so we're just going to have to multiply straight across. 11 times 3 and 4 times 5. 11 times 3 is 33. 4 times 5 is 20. Now, we don't want to necessarily leave our answer like this. We want to be able to change it back to a, um, a mixed number. Okay? So, and I did a mini lesson on that one already, so we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into that. Remember, the denominator goes on the outside, and in this case, the denominator is 20. The 33 goes on the inside. The 33 is the numerator. Okay? We want to figure out how many times does 20 go into 33. That goes into it once. 1 times 20 is 20. We subtract, that's 13. At this point, we can stop because we know that 20 can't go into 13. It's too big. So our final answer is going to be 1 and 13 over 20. And then just in case we forgot, remember this is the whole number. This is the numerator. And the 20 becomes the denominator. Okay, or it's still the denominator. So our final answer. So, one more time. When dividing mixed numbers, we have to change both of those mixed numbers to improper fractions. Once we change them to improper fractions, we rewrite the problem. And after we rewrite it, since we're dividing, all right, dividing fractions means to multiply by the reciprocal. So we change division and multiplication. The reciprocal of the second fraction, which means to flip the second fraction, and then we go ahead and multiply. When you multiply, you multiply straight across. 11 times 3, 4 times 5, that's going to give you 33 over 20, and we want to change that to a mixed number, okay? And that's how we did that. Alright, hope this helped.